Hello, dear friends, my lovely audiences. Welcome to the East West Show. Today, to the uh, Americans, my fellow Americans, is a very important day because it marks exactly the one year uh, mark, benchmark for President Donald Trump. Uh, well, there's a lot to talk about, lots of uh, positive or even negative things. I don't care. I'm a media man. I stay all the time in the middle of the road. Uh, would be my good friend Ken Hamming, not only a good friend, but a philosopher himself. Right? I adore him for his concept. I really like his set of mind. Another function that he is here is that he will keep me reminded all the time not going to the left too far. So yes, sir. You're kind of balancing always. You're the you're, you're the weight on the right-hand side. I'll keep us. You keep dragging me yeah, back, right? Exactly. So, uh, that said, my dear friend, Mr. Ken Hemming, welcome to the show. When I'm with you and your viewers, I'm in heaven. Thank you for all letting right, me be very here. Very good, very good. It's now, my honor. All right, I'm in heaven the moment you're here. Thank right, you. Good. Very good. Uh, my audience starts to like Ken Hemming already. Some roadies say, hey, you know, that guy, uh, really kind of get grassroots kind of thinking and sometimes he gets funny. Oh yeah, we, we are fun. That's a, that's a good compliment, you right? You can think deep and yeah. smile at the same yeah. time. That's a, that's a, very, that's that's a, a great compliment. That's a great com compliment. I like that. And uh, well, on the one year benchmark for President Donald Trump of the United States though, I should say that I would start with my uh, kind of opening line. Yes, sir that I would like to see myself as uh, not a supporter in the very beginning of his uh, presidency. Right now, I'm not tilting to him uh, either. I'm just uh, starting to see some positive things about him. And let's put all the evidences together. Oh, yes. Let's put the big things together for the past year to see what he has done so far on his, during his presidency for the first year, right? Unbelievable. Okay. Now, it's gonna be, uh, I'm gonna rely upon you to give me, I know there are so many things that he, he, has, he has done during the first year though. What would be or is the top on the list of the biggest thing that he has done ever? Well, honestly, I, th I think besides Neil Gorsuch being uh, uh, put on our Supreme Court now, who is a who believes in the Constitution, will defend our Constitution and will and interpret and it properly. And approved. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, the economy. People, look, it all comes down to it's the economy, stupid, and more people have jobs now, okay? We have the lowest application for unemployment benefits that we've had in like 40 years, mm -hmm. all right? Mm -hmm. Back to Reagan. Mm -hmm. and, and also, we have the lowest unemployment rate, about 4.1%, lowest African-American unemployment rate in history, mm -hmm. while they were keeping that, that calculation, uh, about 7.3, and for Latinos, 5.3, the lowest in decades. This is, when people have a job, mm -hmm. they have a life. Mm -hmm. When you don't have a job, it's hard to be happy. Okay. I know, I know. Uh, for that comment, I have a little something to provide right, sir. For, for your reference and for my audience mm -hmm. references. It's, when you talk about economy increase, when you talk about uh, uh, unemployment decrease, and you talk about the whole economy growth, yes, sir. you would better take reference of exactly one year ago. Yes, because because I'm happy to. Whenever you talk about that, it is, you talk about accumulated efforts. Yes, sir. Even during Obama time, even even during the presidency before Obama, right, right, Bush, and, and as a Bush, and it goes on and on. Clinton, Back whatever. To Clinton. It's accumu accumulated from from a Reagan Reagan on. It is accumulated efforts to where we are now. Some successful, yes. some fails. Yet, yet. If you will bring some evidence, some hardcore numbers, to the starting point of the same day last year, yes. same day, for example, what was exactly the Dow Jones in the 18, uh, index? Yeah, 18,000 to 26,000. To 26 now. 26,000 right. over Those are the kind of numbers that I would like, like to 40%. touch with. 40%. Very good. 40%. Okay, so 
Let's talk about the, uh, the Dow index, right? Yes, sir. The Dow Jones index, of course, uh, taken by many economists as a thermometer about, right, your, right. about your health right. or something like that kind of thing, right? From 18 to 26, that's quite a big jump. It's that's uh, 8,000 uh, 8, jump. Yeah. Right? That's 40 something. No, 40%. Now, one thing to remind our viewers, because not everybody's aware of this, and sometimes I forget it myself, the Dow is made up of 30 of our larger corporations in America. Mm -hmm. So it's just 30 companies. The S&P is made up of Many, many, many more. So it's mm -hmm. it's just as important of an index, which is at an all time high mm -hmm. also. Mm -hmm. But and then the Dow, for example, has been hurt quite a bit by General Electric, which is now down to sixteen dollars a share, down huge. GE might go out of uh, might go out of business. I don't know. They've mm -hmm. got big problems, and so that's holding the Dow back too. It's had huge shrinkage in its value, and it was one of the great stocks of all time for a hundred years. You know. So, mm -hmm. so the Dow Jones is, 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 you know, every time it goes up a thousand, it adds about another trillion dollars net worth in, in America. Yeah. It's huge. There it's huge. might be some argument, there might be some disagreement. Mm -hmm. However, I mean, your defense saying that, uh, number one, even though it takes a accumulative efforts to get where it is now, sure. it takes time. It well, takes time to grow that much. However, that said, from 18 to 26, that big jump, that big jump in a year. never happened in a year. And from 25,000 to 26,000 happened in, tw in 10 days. 10 days, totally a ridiculous record. I know you were a man in the territory. Has there ever been in U.S. history or in Dow Jones history a jump like uh, eight? Thousand of that percent within no. one year. No, there's or been 40 decreases that have been forty percent within one year. Yeah, no, 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 right? No, I recall a time that the Dow Jones was eleven hundred, eleven thousand. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. That was about uh, two thousand eight, two thousand nine, somewhere mm -hmm. at that point, and from that on to last year, same time, the eighteen, you're talking about six thousand already. Increase well, uh, and that is some credit that we got to give somebody some credit. Well, it's that's a lot of years ago, okay. Mm -hmm. and, and for example, in 2008, it was about 14,000, it went all the way past 11 down to 6,600, creeped its way up over a long t period of time to 18,000. Mm -hmm. and, and one of the great stimulus of, of, of the market is. Uh, a decrease in the regulations, eliminating 22 regulations to every one new regulation mm. the government has. Okay, and now, regulations stifle and strangle yeah, no, progress. I yeah, I understand. It is, it is easy to see the number difference from 18 to 26. Pretty the big. number is there, black <laughs> and white, right? So, so to, to scientifically going into the growth though, what is the factor that causes the increase? You know, I believe it's not <clears throat> just a picture of Donald Trump. No. And not it, just a word from Donald Trump. No. It must be something, some there as the element to cause the going, not one, not two, not three, but 6,000 points. Uh, That's 8, a 8,000. 8,000. Uh, I mean, 8,000 yeah, points a lot. from yeah. 18 to, to 26. So there's a lot. What mm. exactly has caused? A lot of it, Jack, is attitude and belief in the future of America. Because with less regulations, people are investing more into our country. And when people have jobs, they're happier. So jobs is a huge part of this. And also, uh, even we're working toward more energy independence. And I think it's in 2018, we'll have more uh, uh, natural uh, oil produced than, mm -hmm. than Saudi Arabia. Now think about that. Uh -huh. I, do you like being dependent on the Saudis? No, I don't. In other words, you're talking about the confidence. Yeah, but also the people are happier. You look at the faces around. They're, they're, they, they believe that there's progress in the country again, in that, that rather than the government growing and shrinking our liberty, we have more individual uh, Rhetor hope. Rhetorically, you're right. I can't criticize you for that. Okay. But, but face does not make money. All right. I'm Attitude talking about, does. I'm talking about, yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right. I'm talking about the mind, the confidence. Right, that's, are you that's saying, the word. Yeah, are you yeah. saying it is the confidence in Americans Ugh. that caused the American 
economy to grow like the way it is. It's kind of like a snowball. You know, the more confident people are, the more they're willing to invest in new jobs, invest in new companies, okay? Mm. Um, it grows. You can just see it. You know, now California is not the greatest place to pick out as an example, but you go to the Midwest where the regular normal Americans are. I mean, it's a happy country now in most mm. places. Maybe the coast, New York and Baltimore and San Francisco, you know, that's, that's not America to me. Yeah, you're right, you're right. Uh, I do agree with the fact that if you call the growth the element, the element that causes the growth is U.S. confidence. It's U.S. confidence. Yeah. Confidence to me, lots of people uh, do it in a way of uh, kind of a superstitious analysis. Oh, yeah. That's fair. If, if lots, of, lots of people say it's good, it's good, better be good. If more people say it's bad, it better be bad, something like that. No, that's it right. Is, it is quite true. Right. It is quite true, right? If you have 10 people around me, if uh, more than six say Jack Chow is a bad guy, mm -hmm. I myself even believe my, I, I, I'm a bad guy. Do you think that's that, true? People do you think how that works, names, how that works yeah. psychologically? Right. And if, uh, on the contrary, vice versa, mm -hmm. if they say, hey, Jack is a good mm -hmm. guy, more than six say the, say the same thing. I start to believe that I'm a good guy. Let me re remind you of one thing. Well, in my book, I have the word listen. And, and, and what I say in there is that, you know, when people say bad things or things that you think are not very good about yourself or something, listen to them because there's always a little truth in it. And you can learn by listening and yeah. then you can improve That's yourself. another subject matter for right. another day. But, but right. it's a big yeah, one. Sure. It's okay. important. Uh, my dear friends, today we're talking about on the exact one-year benchmark for uh, Donald Trump. We're checking some of the uh, bigger or major aspects uh, about how he is doing. All right. So with me, my dear friend Ken Hammy, a book writer. Uh, he mentioned his book, I Life did. is a Symbol, 100 Words to Live By. By the way, someday you should pro probably, well, create your own class at PCC. Right. Probably PCC about how attitude, you mentioned the word attitude. How to, to yes, life, right. Right. How okay. To, now, yeah. let's take a short moment now. When we come back, we'll continue finding other aspects how Donald Trump is doing still with us, peace. Hello, lovely audiences, my dear friends. Welcome back to the show, Jack Chow on the East West with Gene E TV. Today on the subject of uh, Donald Trump's uh, benchmark for exact one year into his pregnancy, presidency, uh, not pregnancy, yeah, but was, presidency, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, he is a little fat, <laughs> yeah, all right, okay, anyway. so he could be a little um, pregnant. <laughs> into his presidency, uh, we are giving little scoring, yeah. uh, doing a little score for uh, Donald Trump to see, uh, well, every area, uh, how he does, right? With my good friend, Mr. Ken Hamming, a commentator, political commentator, a philosopher, a big friend to the community, we're sharing his beautiful thoughts about Donald Trump. Like I said, I may not be a supporter for Donald Trump, but I do support whoever or whatever that makes U.S. stronger. That's true. Me right? too. Okay. All right. Welcome back to the show. I love being here. All right, Tom. I'm happy. So Dow Jones... Uh, being the numbers that is uh, so strong, so black and white, nobody can overturn. You can't deny it. Nobody can deny. Right. And when that said, though, what else do you think is on top, second top to the list in your bucket, please? Uh, leadership. Leadership. Leadership in, in, in the world again. Okay. We have reestablished mm -hmm. ourselves. You know, our, our previous president did a lot of apologizing and trying to identify things that he didn't respect about America. Now, Donald Trump, and I like this, okay, his theory, you know, it's America first. We take care of ourselves. He wants everybody else running their own country to have their country first, too. Mm -hmm. we, he doesn't want to submit to globalism where there's just like one government running the whole world uh, or one government in America running, running the whole country, making all the decisions for, uh, for citizens. Um, so uh, leadership has been reestablished. There's respect. When you think of his trip to the Middle East, when you think of his, the trips he's taken uh, uh, to China and, and that, um, it's, it's like 
it, it's, he's establishing leadership and he's, he's pushing back. Everybody else, Republican, Democrat, have always wanted to be in the establishment, in, in, the, in the swamp, kiss up to each other, give each other this and that and, and survive. President Trump is, you know, he's been elected to clean out the swamp, you know, drain the uh, swamp. And he's trying to. I'm the, trying the to separate. I'm hard. trying to separate uh, these two aspects, okay. different aspects. In talking about leadership, you're talking yeah. about obviously uh, two leadership, international leadership right. and domestic Correct. leadership, right? Right. Internationally, you believe that he has been doing a good job. America is respected again as a leader uh -huh. on planet Earth. And, and we, were, we, we lost a lot of respect. Is that saying, uh, do you mean this starting from the point that he visited and he was about to buy more than 50 the state leaders of that uh, oh. Middle East region? Oh, yeah, that was phenomenal. Remember that one? That was phenomenal. That was phenomenal, From right? all of the countries over and there. He made a, a very a sounding... Very impassioned. Very sounding, very sounding speech. You guys have got to take care of the to, terror. And listen to by, by, by more than 50 yes. of those uh, state leaders Why, of was the, that, that region. Right. And one thing, I, one thing I'll have to say about this, though. Over there, their buildings are so beautiful and their robes are so beautiful. Okay. Oh, uh, that's another issue. Another day. I know. Yeah, keep don't, don't 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 keep dragging me away from it. And do you remember, or do you recall, the response after that? After that, uh, his first visit to that area. Well, yeah. well, see, because he w he was in Saudi Arabia and he's also in Israel. Mm. I mean, he's he's with all everything. Okay. Um, uh, so the response over there was very positive. When he comes back to America, uh, you know, his opposition, the Democratic leadership, tries to demean everything he does. But but they're not succeeding, okay? Okay. So all of his trips have how been you, really glorious. How do you uh, comment on, how would you comment on his uh, late, uh, I will say, nomination of uh, Jerusalem, of uh, the capital? As a, that's the capital. I support it 100%. You support it. Is the, the 100%. It has, really has been the, the capital for 3,000 years. Uh -huh. uh, Israel is our, maybe our greatest ally, a tremendous ally. Mm -hmm. and, um, uh, uh, and you know what? And, and he, does it, he does it without fear. There's tremendous resistance. The Palestinians right now are trying to take away the uh, recognition of Israel as being a country. Uh, and um, and it increased some violence against Israelis. Mm. It's exactly what should look. Clinton, Bush, Obama all said that it should be that is it is their capital, but he didn't. They didn't officially recognize it. Mm. They they mentioned it should be recognized, but it hasn't. Uh, President Trump is no coward. When something he thinks is the right thing to do, he does it. Mm -hmm. And then, and it's going to work out fine. And we're going uh, to move our embassy to okay, now, Jerusalem. Uh, yeah, I know, I know. I heard that exactly yeah. yes, yesterday, that they are even doing the design of the new embassy of uh, right. the United States in Jerusalem. Right. right. Now, my consideration, my concern is that as the President of the United States, when making that kind of a recognition, does he have any consideration of the the other side, for example, the Palestinians. Well, that's the Palestinians are strongly rebounds over that issue. And also, do you think the recognition of uh, President Donald Trump of that uh, kind of a brand naming it as the capital, does it help? quiet down that region or does it help to stir up the, that region? I think it stirs it up for a bit and then it will calm down and I think it gives it more of a, 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 a chance for progress toward peace because it's also uh, uh, where they're going to put the uh, embassy is in is in kind of the Jewish part of, of, of Jerusalem. There's also uh, the other, the east part I, th I think of Jerusalem where that would be the capital if we en end up with a Palestinian state uh, and they live uh, um, you know, touching each other in peace. Are you creating a East-West Germany again? No, in East-West Germany. And if you're creating a East Jerusalem and a West Jerusalem, though, uh, history might repeat itself. Well, I'm really concerned. The okay. Palestinians I do are not already go against you, terrorists. Right? Okay. I have no way of going opposing uh, Donald mm -hmm. Trump in that regard. Mm -hmm. Only I have this trepidation, little trepidation that I call that. Either, either, either we help 
that action, that recognition helps heating up the regional problems. Or in the long run, if it shall go settle at a point of the east of West Jerusalem, though, you're creating another Germany. Well, I, I, I don't agree with that outlook, but it's yours, and I appreciate that. Yeah, sure, sure. I respect that. I understand but you will fight for my right to think that oh, way. Oh, absolutely. Right. Okay, yeah, very you're, good. You're, you're right. one of Only my you heroes. and I, we, we, we just yeah. check upon each other. But it is. See Jerusalem how you is the capital. On that. Jerusalem is the of capital. Of course, of and course. And there's a couple other and countries, now, and many are going to and, end up and, moving their embassies Yeah, now there. the fat guy says Ping Rong is the, uh, is the capital. And as well, the South says uh, Seoul is the capital, the same thing. Right. We don't care which is the capital. We're talking about, I'm talking about my concern of dividing from east to west or mm. north south, some kind of thing. Mm. The same thing happened to Vietnam. The same thing happened to Germany. The same thing happens to uh, 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 the North Korean Peninsula. And then Jerusalem, if we say somewhere, somehow, things will get quiet down at the point when there is a divine saying east and west, Jerusalem, that we're creating another one. That is my concern. Yeah. Well, let's see what happens because I, don't, I, I doubt peace will come to that region while I'm breathing, okay? <laughs> because I don't think All the right, uh, okay. Palestinians want mm -hmm. peace. I don't think they want coexistence. Uh -huh. I don't think they want tolerance. All right. In other words, let, let me share one thing. You'll like this about London, okay? Mm -hmm. they, 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 a, a, a new embassy was just constructed in London, uh, and Trump was supposed to maybe go over there and cut the cord, cut the uh, cut ribbon. ribbon huh? But see, what happened? He said he decided that that they they sold tremendously valuable property in London to build this uh, embassy in a very less desirable place at like. 300% over budget. So he says, I'm not going to go and condone that. He thinks uh, in terms of the art of the deal and what a deal, it was a terrible deal. <laughs> so he says, no, I'm not going to fly over and cut anything. All right, okay, cut right, your right. own ribbon. Let's con concentrate on yeah. the Jerusalem. On Jer right. on Jerusalem. I am talking about just Jerusalem. Yeah. I do not care about London. All right? Well, I do. It's, it's, yeah. it's an issue that we can always work out with the UK. Don't worry about that. We oh. have a tradition of doing that long time. now. With the Jeru Jerusalem thing, now Tel Aviv versus the Jerusalem is not just the two names of cities. You're talking about history, you're talking about going reversing history, you're talking about creating history. I have no problem with anybody creating history. My only problem is the concern that we are dividing Jerusalem if so. Well, okay, now, on the other hand, I mean, excuse me, let me finish. Mm -hmm. And you're saying that you, in your dream, there's never going to be peace in that area anyhow. So, well, I'm you're, alive. so my concern of, of, uh, of dividing Jerusalem will never, become, will, will never become true. Well, let me remind you of That's one thing. That's only a denial in the, in, the, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the worst kind. Let me remind you of one thing. There are many, many, many Arabs that live in Israel. They are citizens. They vote. They're in their parliament. They, they really peacefully coexist within Israel. They only don't peacefully coexist from outside of Israel. So there's a tremendous influence of, of Palestinians and Arabs in Israel, and they get along pretty All right, pretty let's, go, let's, go, let's go for the rule. Let the difference remain. How about that? All right, let concern and, remain, and the, at least the risk is there. And pray that violence right, diminishes. Right. Good. Uh, with me today, my dear friend, is uh, ja, is uh, Ken Jack Hemming? <laughs> Ken Hemming with Jack Shaw. Jack Shaw with Ken Hemming. Anyway, I'm, I'm okay. call me anything. Yeah, I'm I'm I'm, I'm so pissed. <laughs> Just call me. I'm lonely. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> so we're having fun. We're having lots of yeah. fun. Every Friday is my uh, my, my 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 day because uh, Ken really uh, makes it uh, lots of lots. We of, light up uh, the yeah, life. lots of lots of. Uh, laughters, we joke around, whatever, anyway. So let's take a short moment now. When we come back, let's talk about uh, domestic leadership. Stay with us, please. Hello, dear friends, hello, lovely audiences, my dear, lovely, uh, fellow Americans, you ladies and gentlemen, you are my backbone. I service you and you're my backbone. Uh, we at the GNE TV, all my EDI members, we're working very hard. We're working very, very super hard 
to uh, provide you whatever information is necessary that we believe will help uplifting our society. Yes. Uh, like I said, I may not be a supporter to Donald Trump, but I support whoever can bring U.S. back strong again. Yes, sir. It looks to me that the past one year uh, into the presidency of uh, Donald Trump, we see a lot of uh, positivity rather than as we thought before, predicted before. Right. Uh, with my friend Ken Hamming, we are checking step by step, area by, by area. We touch the word leadership. In leadership, we cut it into two, international leadership and domestic leadership, right? Yes, sir. In the domestic leadership concern, what do you think might be the high point, the highlight that you can point out? Well, you know, there, there's so much resistance uh, led by the Democratic leadership, okay, of any praise or any recognition of the wonderful progress our country has made. Mm. CNN doesn't even say the stock market's at 26,000. They, they won't talk about it. Yeah, anything. he did say, they so, did say so that. The, they did the, say, they did the, say. Well, not really. But, but, but yeah. what's interesting is during the presidential uh, year of, of, of uh, campaigning, uh, all of the polls, Hillary's going to win, Hillary's going to win, Hillary's going to win. I never believed the polls, okay? I was a Trump supporter from the time he came down the escalator. Oh, yeah, uh, I know, okay? I know, I know, I know yeah. and, and Because I just That's why we fight, we fight from A to Z all the way. Right, because mm -hmm. what he said in that very first speech is everything it was like I was talking to myself from my heart and my mm. mind. And so... So they always said he's got no chance, no chance. Within two days, one day before the election, he has no chance, he has no chance. So right now they say, oh, he's very unpopular. Well, that's what they say. But in the soul and hearts of so many Americans that voted for him, he's very popular. Let's concentrate, and he's up. Let's concentrate on the word leadership. Okay. I'm talking about it is now the moment. Oh, by the way, today is the first day of a government out of business. Well, no, maybe tomorrow. No, today. No, it was midnight tonight. No, no, we reached the end the last night that we, uh, the, 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 the government shut down. No, it's tonight. The shutdown starting this morning, zero o'clock. Okay, we disagree. Yeah, we disagree on no one problem. day. Okay, anyway, yeah, one, one day, day difference, one day, not right. a big deal. Right. We're talking about zero o'clock today or zero o'clock tonight. Right. We are stopping the government, government function. No well, more. there's still going to be one more You vote. know what, you know what, yesterday I didn't get my mail. Okay. Well, that's not because of that. No way. No? No, not at all. Mail will continue if, when the government shuts down. What happens is the tragedy of the shutdown is that the military people, the firefighters, all this won't get paid. The military don't, won't get paid. Right. And right. Yet, yet the people but in they Congress have to, will, but and they, they have, should no, not. No, no, no. They have to function. By law, they have to come function. I especially checked. Check with the... With well, the, you can't shut... You can't. No, I know, I know, I know. It's their you honor know, to function. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. By constitution, they have to keep uh -huh. performing. Well, because they are obligated that obligated that way. Right. Right. Now the government can sign them IOUs. But if they don't IOUs, get paid, the a congressman and a uh, senator should not get paid. That's evil. That's really wrong. Oh, sure. Now, the other thing. Sure. The other thing is. I well, agree. I agree. I told. Uh, uh, yeah. Excuse me. Yeah. I will tell my double vote. Yeah. Right. On that. Right. When militaries are not getting paid, right. Congress members, they Congress should members should not. They do not have. They're, they're just not. You don't deserve reasonable. that. No. Okay, anyway. But, but, but the thing is, like, when in 2013, was it, or something, I think, when we had a little government shutdown for just a couple of days. Oh, almost, what, every, what, almost, almost every, every other year. Well, but what, what Obama did was close all the national parks, okay, to try to really make it inconvenient. Yeah, national and, parks, they are going to be closed anyway. Not true. Not now. They will not be closed. They will still be there. The people will not be in paid. They will service the people visiting the national parks. That was Obama's decision. I don't decision. think so. I that was so. exactly discussed over a radio program that I was well, uh, listening you to. Well, then you listened my way to a leftist program whatever, because it is not whatever. true. This they morning, say people in D.C. will not be able to see the White House. The people in New York will not be able to see the Statue of Liberty because the government should be the, the, the National Parks of America will be open. So well, we'll, we'll, next week we'll be back let's together. Let's talk about Yellowstone, all right? Yeah, so if it, it will be. It will be open. They, anyway. they just said it today. Okay, now, okay. Yeah. 
Back to leadership, though. It's called weaponization, okay, of, of the uh, inconvenience in America. <laughs> that you, weaponization is uh -huh, uh -huh. evilly intended, uh -huh. and, and ours will not no, be. No, no. I'm checking about world leadership. How right. do you apply, uh, um, how do you think that the leadership will apply in a situation that, that caused the government to shut down eventually? Well, you know, it's, it's called- Where is the, leadership? It's called, the, well, it's, it's not with the Democrats. It's the Schumer shutdown, okay? Uh, the, 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 the radical left leading our Democratic Party are willing to have nine million children not insured under the See Something program uh, which will cease uh, if the government gets shut down, it, and w where they where they place the importance of illegal immigrants here over the the health and welfare of our own American citizen children. Now that is not funny, Jack. Okay, it's not funny, and and because and they I don't believe all they want is for. The, a path to citizenship so they get votes, so they give them a cell phone and you get a vote. They're after votes, okay? They're not after retaining and enhancing our culture. They're after government power. I and agree, I agree position. with you what's happening, but I'm very sorry that by logic it doesn't work that way. Well, right? that's not true, but okay. Politic, politics is not that a, a tit for tat. Right. You do this, I do that. I do that, you do this. No. Well, now Politics you're talking not. about earmarks, I'm talking, which I'm might not. come back. No, no, no. Oh, of course. And now, well, that's another issue we also that's should talk issue. about. I know, right? I know. I slam you on the face, you kick me on the leg. I love it. I, I love your attention. That, yeah. that, that can happen between you and me. Yeah. But in politics, you cannot do that. Well, okay. You call for, da for DACA, I call for walls, something like that. All right? Well, well, that's what Trump's willing to compromise on. Now, I don't believe can in Can we separate the issues? Let's discuss, let's see what DACA shall or shall not help the United States. And then another day we sit there, no. let's talk about the wall, no. shall or shall not no. benefit the United you States. You give in to DACA. Can we do that? Democrat, no, you can't. We can't do that. No. And then the wall should you be are talking about politics. Talk As tit for tat, I slam you on the face, you yeah. kick me on the butt. Am I right? But I, I'm not saying my face equals to your butt, though, or your face equals to my butt. I'm talking about it is retaliation tit for that. Yeah. Well, the wall is what Trump ran on. We need it to secure our borders. I do agree on certain issues on both of them, all right? I don't I'm agree only on saying, DACA. I'm only saying on day one, talk about DACA. On day two, let's talk about wall. Separate them. Don't let them go against each other. So well, don't do but, it in but, a retaliation way. But but don't do it for but political Trump exchange. is willing to do something. I no, am talking Andaka, about leadership. Come on, we have, come on, come on, no, 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 come on. If we get rid of back to the point, Shane the point is yes, the point of starting lottery. The whole point started with a word, with a definition of leadership. When we talk about leadership, though, if if you take the word leadership out, though, it might be going like that in for tat. Now what? we kick in the leadership. What would the leadership function in between the tit for tat? I think President Trump is showing phenomenal, committed leadership in not succumbing to the evil, to the irrational demands the of the Democratic leadership. Party. He's, he's, the not, leadership, he's not sucking up to them. The leadership, in my mind, joins the party, joins the one party, which is not supposed to do. I am talking about, okay, now. There is no leadership okay, in the now, Democratic Party. Can, no. can, 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 can. Yeah. Let, let's calm down a little bit, okay? There are two kids fighting. You see them, right? You stop no, the fighting. there's one adult and you one kid. No, 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 I'm talking about there are two kids fighting. What do you do? Well, you, you negotiate, and that's what President Trump is brilliant at. Okay, now when you and walk they're in. they're not negotiating. You walk in, you walk in as the, well, as the uh, leader, right? Well, you're providing leadership, right? Now you walk in between the two kids skidding each other. You say, hey, how many times he slapped on your face? Three. And how many times he slapped on your face? Well, two. And then you owe him one. Bang. There goes well, the other one. When I was driving out here today, they said that President Trump in, uh, invited Schumer, who I definitely have no respect for, to, uh, to the White House today to try to see if there's something to All be right. done. As that long as sounds we don't, good. Yeah, but as that long as we don't good. suck up to that, that sounds good. garbage. Can please, yeah. my dear friend Ken, listen yeah. to me for 30 seconds without saying anything, all right? Good. When the two kids fight, when the two kids fight, you walk in, are you checking, are you asking them to come down or are you checking who hits who, hits who more? 
And then you find, you find out, you say, okay, now, oh, you owe him another slam on the face. Bam, let's do it like that. So you're not. Now, you're Seki exactly giving me a, the, the opposite example that overturns you yourself, that President Donald Trump is seeing, is meeting Chuck Schumer tonight. Today. Which is good. Could be right now. Which is good. It could be right now. Could which right is good. Now. That is the kind of thing I call leadership. And your way of walking in, giving one more slam on the face, is not the other. Well, it is not leadership. Well, I think you're misrepresenting right? what I what I, I, I may said be wrong. Field, I may be wrong. But, which is fine. I have no yeah, problem which with fine, that. Yeah. But, um, we argue, we argue sometimes yeah. for nothing anyway. Yeah, right, right. Well, I like it. <laughs> but, but, but see, the DACA thing doesn't even come due till March 5th. And so there's six weeks left where we could have fund the government and have it continue in its normal functions. Um, uh, they're, they're using they're using DACA as Whoever a hostage. Whoever is funding. using whatever, well, that's what the I don't care. Are doing. I do. I'm talking about in United States, new U.S. politics. You are supposed to, to discuss to deal with issue by issue, one by one, not mixing. Well, them. tell it to Schumer. Not do the. Tell it to Nancy Pelosi. They they sound like a trick or treat thing to me. Okay. Nancy Pelosi, Jack, give me give me she, candy. She all said right? that the thousand dollar bonuses that people are getting are, are breadcrumbs and worthless. Don't She's go too worth far, ninety please. billion. No, I'm not. Don't she said that. Right. I'm quoting my her. My dear friend, I'm my quoting lovely her. audience. I got to cut him off. Yeah. You're supposed to say shut up. That's <laughs> our deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a word with this guy. Yeah, that's the way we I agree. agreed upon. Right? Give it to me. Okay, I'll shut myself up. No, no. How please. about that? Okay. <laughs> now let's take a very short moment to shut up. <laughs> and we'll come back, talk a little bit before we shut up and then talk. Okay. So we'll we'll be back. <laughs> I enjoy. It. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's our standing operator procedure. Shut up, Ken. <laughs> Hello, my dear friends, my lovely audiences. Uh, we come back right after the shut up <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> to continue for another segment before we shut up again. Yeah. With me today uh, is my good friend, Ken Hamming. As you can see, we are very close. We joke around the time. We call names sometimes all the time. <laughs> but, but well, well, no harm, right? We're brothers. No harm, nothing. We're brothers. On the contrary, on the contrary, the more we argue, the more point, we, the, the clearer we see the points. Yes, right? that's now, true. My whole point, let me say again, the DACA idea concept, the wall concept, both might be wrong, might be right. right. Leave them aside a little bit. To pick up one day talking about DACA, get conclusion. Pick up another day talking about wall, uh, I mean the wall, the border wall. Please never let them mix. Never let them. I mean, never put them on a on 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 a, on a barter trade thing. Well, please tell that to Schumer. Okay. Okay. I will. Yeah. I, I will see him. I will. Yeah. And I will tell Donald Trump the same thing. Oh, bye. Speaking of Donald Trump, though, speaking of the slam in the face. Mm -hmm. Okay. I have this one. I brought. Oh no, I can't show it on the screen. Yeah, anyway. Right. Anyway, showing to you, I can do always later. Yeah. Right. Now, there was one incident. There is a, a guy. Uh, to the left, the guy to the right of Donald Trump, another guy approaches him for a picture, uh -huh. and you see the flash, uh -huh. picture shot, and then they shake hands. Uh -huh. The moment Donald Trump sticks the hand out, the guy backs his hand off uh -huh. without touching, uh -huh. kind of like in a funny way, yeah. slowly taking the hand away. And Trump's hand got frozen in yeah. the air right. uh, for some time. Uh -huh. Well, and then the guy approached the Trump and tap on the tummy and pull the, the, the tie up and then flip the tie, like a rattling the tie uh -huh. around his face like this, uh -huh. right? And then drop it down uh -huh. and then walk away, trying to walk away yeah. like an insult. That's a total insult, insult oh, to me, it's right? a scum. And then the very moment Trump remained very calm without doing anything. He's calm. However, that precise blink of a second, when he was about to turn away, and bam, there goes a slap on the face. Trump slapped his face. Yeah. Good. Yeah, goes the go slap on the face. Bam. Yeah. You can hear it. Bam. Good. And then the bodyguards got it. Yeah. Pushed the guy away. I haven't seen that. So, I'm dying to see it because I. Yeah, I, I can show you after later, this. Yeah. Uh, after this. But the thing is that. 
for that kind of retaliation, I, I I'm for it because yeah. that that exactly depicts that you are at least a man. In your face, you disrespect can't stand, by that yeah, guy. You can't, you, yeah, you can't. Yeah, you can't. Needs a response. Yeah. Well, you can. You you can defend your own. At mm -hmm. least you can do that. Right. Mm -hmm. For between partisanship, mm -hmm. between walls and Dhaka, between Dhaka and the wall, mm -hmm. there's nothing of that nature, mm -hmm. right? So, do you do you not agree with me that we recommend them to choose different days to get agreement and not agreement on separate issues? I don't. Can we do that? I do. Yeah. No, I, I really don't agree because because the wall has to come first before you before you submit yourself to DACA to the, uh, and the uh, Democrat uh, demands. Let me you cannot say, do that or, let me or say it lose. one more time yeah. and I'll shut up. Okay. I'll shut myself up, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, one more time. Mm -hmm. I may have done it 100 times already. Mm -hmm. I'm doing this 100 the first time. Okay. All right. DACA is a accumulated problem from the past. With, without a wall, the DACA problem remains the DACA because those are the kids who were brought here when they were a child. They had no say, no, no right or whatever, able uh, to make decisions themselves anyway. It's accumulated historical problem. And the wall is to prevent future problems. I support both, but they are separate issues. Okay. Right, they are orange and an apple. If, if, I say it only the last time, and I shut up now. Okay, if if we'd have caught the the parents that came across the border illegally and brought their kids, then um, they would have all been deported. Would should could we? We well, there's no end for that. Right. Okay. Now we're talking what happened. There needs the to be an end. What happened? What what had happened happened already. There needs right? to be an end. There's a would should should could. There can, there's never going to be an end. We're talking about they are past issues issue and a future issue, never mix the past with the future again. I support no amnesty for this because they have got to get in the end of the line that people are coming here legally and morally. That's okay. I'm doing it. That's so, okay. So they do that's not deserve that's that. Okay. And they don't give them, deserve Give them a fair treatment. Here. Give them a fair treatment, put them back in back line. The that's line. it. Without kicking them out. And don't let other without relatives kicking come in. Them and out. I, without kicking them out. Um, well, that's my concern. All the Democrats want are votes. That's why they're bringing in nice people, but that that do, are not highly educated and highly talented, which which some people okay. are lucky, some aren't. Anyway. But some are great too, by the way. I'll shut myself yeah. up. All right, and you do the same thing. Whatever. We'll continue next Friday. <laughs> we'll continue next Friday. Right. And in the meantime, let's talk about the tax cut. That's the big Ooh. thing. Hallelujah. That's the big thing. You and I yeah. hail the same hallelujah. Yeah, this is hallelujah. Yeah. What's happening? Okay, Tim Tim Cook, who is who runs Apple now, okay? He is not a supporter of Trump. He despises President Trump. Yeah. Okay, that's like Silicon Valley. I heard that over all, the news they're yesterday. They're all socialists yes, yes, over yeah, there, yeah, okay? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. But yet he said, yes, they're putting $350 billion into our economy over a certain number of years, mm -hmm. Apple. And they've 20, been giving 20 out- 20 years, 20 years. Okay, and they've been giving out uh, 2,500 in stock to their employees. And he said, it's, yeah, he says that partially we had some plans for this and partially it's because of the tax cut. And he gave President Trump that credit. And which that credit from him and, uh, is shocking. And they promised to move some of their manufacturers back into the states. Hallelujah! Yes. Hallelujah! That's Hallelujah. good. That's good. Absolutely. That's good. That's good. Yeah. And uh, I check with That's lots of great. friends. Uh, remember last time you and I when we talk about it, when we were on the issue, mm -hmm. I said one thing I can guarantee: there's nobody gonna seal the envelope, say send it back. Okay. Yeah, Uncle they're Sam. not going to send it back. Uncle Sam said, right. take, uh, no. take it back. I don't want it, right? I'm, so nobody does that they're going so to far. It. I check with everybody that I see, everybody that I, I well, around me, mm -hmm. so far, nobody does that. They all pocket the money. And they say thank you. Yeah, they, well, they might not say thank you, but they pocket the money and they spend it. They spend it happily. Right. Happily. Okay, or invested or whatever. Or yes, well, whatever. Right. whatever. Pay off debt. Whatever. Yes. Yeah, at least they can buy a few cup of teas. Absolutely. Tomorrow. Take That's your wife out to dinner. Yeah, sure. Now, one thing for sure that there are issues, controversial, people might say yes, people might say no. That even said, there are issues, no controversial, no, no controversy at all. Nobody whoever will say yes. So this is the issue. 
what's happening, it's just a tsunami that is building. And we, we're not, and people haven't even received checks of a higher amount, which will start in February, showing lower, lower withholding rates. It's mm. going to be, holy cow, when you start getting a check, you're making the same salary, <laughs> mm. but you get to keep more of your money. You're going to be happy. Yeah, we're only, uh, I'm only sorry for that we are double taxed. Well, right. we're taxed. We have a t the state tax. I'm we're saying that if California, if yeah. California yeah. follows the federal, right. does the same tax cut thing, that we are really, really in heaven. But with Jerry Brown as governor, it'll never happen. Never. They're just, all they want to do is tax more and more yes. and more and more and more. I agree this with you. This is a disaster I agree of with state. you. Yes, I agree with you. No, he will never. Yeah. Right. That is it. But we can hope. Because, well, anyway, because he likes the... Uh, the reputation. Control. And he liked the pleasure of controlling. <clears throat> we have one out of five people mm. in California, Jack, living at or under the poverty line. This is a tremendous Remember the recall. Dysfunctional state. Remember the recall of a Josh Newman? Of who? Josh Newman. No. Of, of the 29th District, Senate House. Okay. Josh Newman. And he was the one, okay. he was the, uh, the decisive vote on the tax. I mean, on the gas tax. Okay, okay. For which we are paying 63 to okay. 73 pennies more per, per gallon. It's horrible. Which is happening now. It's horrible. Well, which we paid for a half a month already. Yeah. No. Yeah. One half no, no, one and a half a month already. Yeah. And then we pay 175 per registration. Renewal of registration. People can't afford okay. it. Now, another word, we are taxable already, and those guys are still making laws to tax you more. That's why, as a result, right, sure enough, God is helping guys' signature to terminate. He's he is, he is out. Okay. He's okay. ousted. Good. Okay, good. He's good. history now. Yeah, no, I did not know that. He will walk out his <clears throat> office by June. Mm -hmm. There's no protection, no argument, no anyway. Okay. That's why a friend of mine is running for that seat. Mm -hmm. Mr. Bruce Whitaker is okay, running, for, good. He, yeah, he's running for that very seat. Good. And he says, he says, taxing people is the only dirtiest method in politics when you find another, no other resolutions. There's, that's there right, is that's other, right. Good point. There are always ways to go around. Right. The taxing your people is the only last, very last resort. The biggest joke in spending California money is the bullet train from San Francisco down to somewhere that's so far over budget and will never even probably and to get hear, done or be used. To hear it's to horrible. Victorville, and then there's the other yeah. line, to hear... From here to Victorville, to from Victorville yeah. to Las Vegas. Right, right. Okay, you put together all together the population of Victorville. Right, right. Oh, how many? How big a percent of them riding direct from there to from Victorville to Las Vegas? Not many. Victorville's a nice little town. It's a small town. It's a, it's not a wealthy town. And it's how many of them will run from Victorville to Los Angeles and from Los Angeles to San Francisco? Not many. Not many. Right. Yeah. Unless it is a toy that our governor wants to play with. It's right? a terrible than that. activity now, going on. From, if you use California to reflect the federal tax cut, though, mm -hmm. you will love the federal tax cut even more. Oh, absolutely. Right? Absolutely. The more comparison, the, the, you find mm -hmm. the more difference. And the next thing I hope, like, exactly like you said, when, when Jim Brown is termed out or yeah. whatever, yeah. Or, uh, or whatever <clears throat> out. Right. The hope is there might be somebody else yeah. who plays in different ways, who, well, probably give us another cut by following fair federal tax cut. In the in the, really one of the biggest things about the whole tax cut too is that people their four hundred one ks are going up because the economy is doing better, and then when they get to take it out uh, uh, of the four hundred one k, it'll be at a low tax bracket. And also, that by the way, we beautiful. forgot to mention that's one thing. To me yeah, now. that's why. What I, I mean, it exactly reminds me that we forgot to mention one thing that with the Dow Jones uh, index going up though. You're in retirement funds, your retirement investment gets yeah. more secured. Oh, absolutely. Remember well, last oh, time? Oh, it's grown yeah, tremendously. Remember last time when you were here, I told you that I know somebody, a friend of mine, who was a pilot at American Airlines. Okay. Uh, he started working at the age of 82 because he lost everything.
loss Re of all really Indian retirement. No, see, that's now that's tragic. Investment. Yeah, no, that's actually yeah. And, and I had a great said, friend that he said sadly, almost in tears in his eyes, says, "I'm starting working. I'm flying private jets." Because I need the money. Because I, wow. I'm worth it. I'm worth it. I'm At worth 82, nothing. 82, age of 82. I'll take a bus. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. I'm anyway, uh, my dear friend, today we are checking about our president Donald Trump. The beauty of a democracy is that we can check upon our president anytime we want. Absolutely. We can say anything. We can give any score you want to President Donald Trump. With that freedom said. Mm -hmm. All right, you, you shut just up. One, oh you, yeah. you, you shut up already, or you want me to shut up? No, I just want to say, <laughs> President Trump had a physical, he's in excellent health. I love that. Thank oh, you. Oh, yeah. That was the last, uh, no, couple day days before, ago. Day, no, day before, yeah. the doctor says that uh, he Tremendous enjoys health. Uh, excellent health and they're checking with all the indicates, mm -hmm. nothing is wrong with yeah. the system, so on and so forth. Because he's never had anyway, drinks or drugs. Anyway, we want to wrap it up yeah. by saying that. We found the one-year mark very satisfactory, with lots of uh, controversy remaining. We let difference remain, and uh, we wrap it up, and we shut, shut up, shut up. Well, thank you up. for letting wrap me up. be here. Right. <laughs> thank you for not shut, shutting me up. My honor. <laughs> very good. My honor. And my friend, Ken Hemming, the credit goes to my dear friend, Ken Hemming. We're brothers. So, my dear audience, thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Thank you.